hii ni mzigo mkubwa kwa wakenya kwa sababu kuna pengo kubwa zaidi ukichukua hesabu ya waziri kila ambacho anasema anataka kukusanya kupitia kwa njia ya ushuru na target yake ya 1.7 trillion na bajeti ni ya 3.6 trillion ndugu kuna pengo kubwa ya madeni karibu trilioni moja ambayo lazima italipwa na kulipa ni ushuru kuongezwa kwa mwananchi kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu uh, kusema ukweli ametoa budget na ahadi nyingi sana kwa hiyo budget ni kama wanaenda kwa election you know he was speaking as if it's an election budget yeah, yeah. Uh, but in reality uh, that that is not an election budget yeah about to say we don't want election budgets we want budgets that are realistic for the Kenyan people and to be able to get us out of it that is what we want then the debt level uh, the minister has clearly shown us that uh, we are going to be on a borrowing spree he has also indicated that the ceiling uh, is making a proposal to parliament to raise the the the, the debt ceiling and this will translate into more taxation so we the message we are sending out as ANC is that the government cannot get out of this quagmire through taxation they need to be more innovative we need to fight corruption prevent pilferage we need to scale down some of the programs we have because we are more into consumption and very little is going back towards supporting production our exports have flattened out agriculture is not doing it the way as well as it should be so clearly there are some issues and we'll talk more to this uh, in due course but our message is that the government uh, cannot get us out of this quagmire through taxation jingine he budget kama opwani tulikuwa tunatarajia kuwa itakuwa ni budget ya mwananchi lakini kwa bahati mbaya hayo matarajio yetu yamepita bila ya kuafikiwa kwa sababu badili ya kuwa budget ya mwananchi inaona hii ni budget ambayo inazidi kumwathiri mwananchi ikiwa mambo eh, vile wametangaza tutaona bei ya vitu kupanda na tulitarajia kuwa itakuwa ni budget ya wananchi kwa sababu ya hii mambo ya covid tayari watu wana matatizo na tulitarajia kwa hii budget itawapatia watu afueni badili ya kuongezwa ushuru hata ushuru ilikuwa yafaa upunguzwe ili tu, tu resuscitate economy na watu wakiwa na biashara hata wao uchu, ushuru watapata zaidi lakini tunaona watu wengi wameachishwa makazi na kwa bahati mbaya hii budget uliosomwa eh, kwa kimombo tunasema hatuoni light at the end of the tunnel hata tukienda mbele inafaa pia tuwe na mipango ya kufufua uchumi wa hapa pwani haswa mahali kama hiyo mitambo ilikuwa ya ku, ku, kuvuna na ku, 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 ku process koroso iwe inaweza kurudishwa angawa ifungue uchumi wa sehemu hii na mara mingi sana tumesikia mambo ikizungumzwa kuwa tutaleta free port Mombasa hiyo bandari ambayo iko huru inafaa ifanyike haraka sana iwezekanavyo kwa sababu itabadilisha uchumi wa hapa pwani italeta nafasi ya ajira na mambo itakuwa kama mwelekeo mpya na sasa tuna matumaini kwa sababu tukienda mbele tunaona uongozi ukija kama chini ya mheshimiwa msali ya mudavadi tutaweza kupanua mafikirio kwa sababu kwa saa hii inaonekana badala ya kupanua tunapunguza ni kama tunafunga e, na nafasi ya kupumua sasa ni kama hakuna kwa sababu uwezi kusema unatengeneza budget na hiyo budget badala ya kufungua nafasi na ionekane kama tunaweza kujenga inchi tuende mbele 
inaonekana kama tutazidi tu kuwa waombaji na hiyo si si sawa kwa sababu tukitaka kufungua uchumi lazima tuzalishe rasilimali ambayo itatufanya tujitekemee kwa sababu kwa saa hii ukiangalia hata upande kama wa ukulima askari sisi bado tunaagiza askari kutoka nje na vile Kenya iko inaweza kuzaa e, sukari ya kutosha kujilisha yenyewe na mambo mengi ya aina hiyo inafaa ibadilike